not exactly my uh, my best film work ever, but at least you can see the profile of the um, the blades that I'm making. Um, decided to do something a little bit different this time. Here's profile of my blade that I'm making. You see the uh, the usual Clark Y top type profile on the top, and you see the upswept trailing edge. And what happens is is when wind pushes up against the bottom, it hits this trailing edge and it pushes the blade forward. Pretty simple, right? Wind bottom of the blade pushes forward. You don't you don't need to put your blade like that you don't need to shim it this is what's going to push it the great thing about this type of blade is as it's flying through the air the, the wind is it, this blade is going to ride on a, on a cushion of air it's going to push it forward if the blade is tilted up like that and the wind hits it it's really not supporting itself it's just moving forward and you're depending on the lift and and so you, you actually have two things going on you have the uh, the resistance of the wind you have it pushing and then and then with the, the profile on top it's creating lift so you got three things working for you right there that's going to give you a good amount of lift now watch this I'm putting quite a bit of pressure on here and it's not it's not bending that much and I don't even have the wire mounted on there yet now the same wood this is the same exact wood as what this one is now watch the same amount of pressure uh, can you see a difference pressure same pressure okay why why is this one stronger? It's because these two surfaces are bonded together. This is 1 16th by 3 by 36 balsa. This is quarter inch by 3 tapered balsa. I simply take polyester glue, Gorilla Glue, or this tight bond, it doesn't matter. And I squirt like an S type pattern going all the way down. Then the next thing I do is I squeegee it down with a piece of plastic. I, I have a piece of Teflon here. And I'll squeegee this down and back until that, that glue is a, a thin film all the way down evenly. And then I just, just simply... Turn this over on top of it. Make sure it's on there. Make sure that the edges are flush. And then I just simply take like batteries and I weight it down. You get the idea. And I and all the way down I'll weight it like that. And then I guess I gotta wait like uh couple hours three hours whatever so that stuff's cured real nice and I take my batteries off and you're gonna have some some foaming on the edges which is not a big deal because the stuff carves like butter you know this is this is some of it right here it's nothing to it comes right off um but the magnificent thing about this glue is it's strong, number one. It's water resistant, number two. And when these two pieces are glued together, man, it's strong as hell. And um, so this is something for you guys to ponder about. Also, I'm going to put a wire on this also. And what does the wire do for me? The the wire is going to give you uh, it's going to give you weight to the blade, and as it's spinning, it keeps the RPMs more constant. And um, 
think you'll like it. Alright guys, here we go. We're gonna um I'm gonna show you basically how I do this real quick. I'm I'm sorry I have to put the camera on the tripod, but you know, that's the best I can do. Only got two hands and I'm roughly trying to see where the end of this is so I can get the, at least the end of it in the uh, in the in the camera there we go that's pretty cool okay what am I doing I'm gonna take this 1 16th balsam and I'll laminate it to this and I've already explained to you why and uh, so now it's just a matter of doing it and um, believe me when you try this you're gonna be very impressed got my tight bond glue and as I said before I'm gonna take it squeeze it out and I'm just gonna do like S kind of swirls okay got a piece of plastic actually this is Teflon so here's what I do I squeegee it down like that until I get a nice thin film and my leading edge is going to be to this side so I want to make sure I got plenty of glue over here so our 1 16th has the glue on it, it's spread out nice. We're going to take the leading edge side and we're going to stick it on there. Okay. Oh, I forgot. You're going to need the edge down here. There. Now you can see it. Alright. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to... so, these batteries are awesome. They don't hold, hold the charge well. They're freaking awesome for weight. So, oh, the other thing is, if you just start putting batteries on here like that, it's not going to distribute the weight evenly. So, look what we got. Throw your yardsticks on there. Just try and keep it away from the glue. This is aluminum, so even if you get glue on here, it'll peel off easy. So, don't sweat it. But putting the yard sticks on there like that, you're going to like this. Look here. Distributes the weight nice and even. Huh? Now, I'm going to try and get these guys somewhat evenly spaced. And look. I got these batteries too. We can throw them on there. You know? So, try and get that weight distributed in there pretty evenly. You know what I mean? So, I'll weight it down. Take it off the tripod. Get a look at it. Okay, she's uh, she's all clamped down. Let's see, can we see it at all? Yeah, you can see the the one sixteenth on the bottom. But uh, it's pretty neat that from this and this plus that. Plus weight gives you this. Yeah, baby. That's nice and strong, man. I can't wait to try these blades out. They're going to be so awesome.